Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for the 20th to the 27th of June. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hey, hi, how's it going? If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and you become a part of our collective. Let's see what's going on for you this week. All right, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Four of Wands, the Devil, Yuch, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, One, Two, Three, Four, Five. Sorry if you can hear the fan, it's really freaking hot in here and your girl was sweating up buckets with these lights. You know, we fixed the lights, then we gotta fix the air up in her, okay? Um, and then my neighbor's kids are playing in the pool, so please, please just be kind and be patient. I will try and raise my voice for you. All right, <laughs> did I sound remember? Like, what is it called, saving Anna? No. Uh, Nine of Wands, I don't know what I'm saying. Nine of Wands, King, uh, Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups, Temperance, and the Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. There is something here that you're fighting for, like tooth and nail. When I tell you you are fighting for this, it almost makes me feel like you're like, um, I don't want to call it uh, you hungry, but like, yeah, there's like this certain level of like, must have this. It's so important that I get this. I need to have this. So we have the 11th house here. This is the house of friendships. Um, and it involves uh, social activities. It's where it covers teams, friends, groups, uh, society, technology, projects, and social media, as well as originality, eccentricity, social justice, rebellionism, and humanitarianism. I connect. There's something here that you want. Um, I don't know if it's connection. I don't know if it's to be a part of something, to start something. However, what I'm gonna say to you, and the reason why I think it's important that you hear this, uh, is that when we try and hold on, yeah, look, you got acceptance reversed. I don't do reversals, but I am paying attention to the fact that it came out reversed, all right? When we hold on for, to things too tight, uh, Virgo, sometimes you don't give it space to grow or to breathe. And you can't control your way into the situation. You can't demand everyone to adjust and fit into it. You're going to have to let this flow freely, okay? With the acceptance card, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change, okay? I think this is part of your learning this week, where you're learning and understanding that you cannot change other people. You cannot expect other people to see things or to do things or to behave in a certain way just because you want them to. All right. With the seven of wands here, I do feel like there might be a little bit of competition, a, a bit of fighting, a bit of resistance here, or even like fighting for what you feel is right or fighting for what you feel is important to you. Okay. The four of wands feel, makes me feel like stability, a happy home, um, celebration. That's what's really important to you. But again, it's like this, this devil energy here, right? Which I was telling you about when I was first reading the cards. You can't force somebody to like move in with you. You can't force somebody to be your boyfriend or girlfriend. You can't force somebody to like you. You can't force somebody to hire you. And I think here that this like control aspect of Virgo um, stems from a place of maybe insecurity or maybe feeling like um, if you if they don't do it, they don't love you. But that's not true, Virgo, okay? With the devil card here, I would really ask you to pay attention to what you're allowing to control you and to run your life. Is it food? Is it how you spend your money? Is it uh, lack mindset? Is it um, fears? Is it insecurities? Like, what are you allowing to hold you back from stepping into your power, okay? I do feel like a lot of it has to do with abundance, money, and stability. Where maybe you're really afraid of um, being poor, or maybe you're really afraid of not having enough money in the bank account, or maybe you're really afraid of not having stability, um, maybe because you grew up in that environment or something along those lines. But there is a lesson here to learn um, when it comes to that kind of energy, okay? When it comes to that kind of situation. Something here for you to really understand if and dive deeper into like what is holding me back what is stopping me why am i behaving this way why am i not allowing myself to believe in myself or to have faith in myself i think that you also have a lot of options in the directions that you could be taking in life and that's also playing a really big role in how you're um, moving forward or where you're staying stuck okay quite frankly uh there's a lot of different choices that you could be making in your life right now that'll lead you in a lot of different directions so this is about getting really clear, really specific, and really concise in what it is that you are seeking to attract in your life, okay? With the nine of pentacles here, I love that you're showing up actually as the reading comes to an end with the ace of pentacles. Uh, because I feel like, uh, because I feel like 
you stepping into your power is what will give you these new opportunities. It's what will give you this financial abundance. Maybe for some of you, your mom was broke or didn't handle money properly. And so you're really worried of like following in the same footsteps. There could be a little narrative around that here. But what I am seeing above all with these cards here is that you are going to step into your power, that you are going to be successful and that you are going to get that thing that you desire, that thing that you deserve, that thing that you've been working really, really hard towards. Okay. Let's move into your love reading. Amulets that I would recommend for you would definitely be anything that will help you with your abundance, okay? Very important for you to believe in yourself and the abundance that you can create. So I would recommend something like, uh, this is from Cersei Jewels, if you like crystal amulets, I design them all and we hand to make them all here, my jewelry creator and I. This one piece Bridget with the strawberry quartz, the um, moonstone, sorry, the strawberry quartz, the pink, strawberry quartz, rose quartz, the aventurine and the pearls is a perfect bracelet to help you network and align with the right people who are going to help your business. Okay. Another piece is Bastet. I think I left it in my room to be honest with you. I was wearing it earlier today, but I don't see it here. Um, it's got the pyrite and the black tourmaline. And another piece that I would recommend for career and abundance would definitely be something like a shell with the citrine and the uh, rose quartz, the amazonite, the blue lace agate, the aquamarine, uh, and the amethyst this piece is designed to help you stand in your power to believe in yourself to have the confidence and the joyful expectation and the optimism to go after that which you desire that's called eshell you can take a look at the description box below if you want to shop for those of you that want to become professional tarot readers if that's the shift that you're doing in your life take a look at the description box below enrollment for my august course is open it's happening i think august 20th and 21st and you can enroll and take a look at all the details in the description box below to shop or to enroll in tarot intensive or work with me in any other capacity all right let's get on to your love reading and see what's going on for amore for you we have it is safe for you to love religious factors and getting to know each other. Hi, Ray Ray. I didn't even see you under there. Raven's under the desk. This safe for you to love. Uh, temperance. Yeah, see, this is about you like letting go of the narrative, the story. Seven of Cups. Okay, maybe you have multiple people, or you're thinking about changing religions, some of you, or expanding the way that you view spirituality or religion. Let me dive into this. It is safe for you to love in the Temperance card first, okay? When I see these two cards together, the first message that I really feel is that there has to be a certain amount of balance happening in your life right now in order for you to be able to attract the love that you desire. You also have to operate a lot from your heart center, not from anywhere else, just your heart center. That will help you to attract love as well, okay? Um, I think that's the way for you to find the partner that you've been looking for or to connect with the right person that's going to be in alignment with your values. Not operating from like a fear, but from a heart open. Religious factors in the Seven of Cups does tell me that for some of you, you may be thinking about breaking up with a person or being with a person, but you're unsure about the direction to take in your connection because uh, they may have very different religious views than you. And so there may be religious inc incompatibility. Now, having said that, I will also share with you that I do feel it's very important for both of you to acknowledge that it is possible to be together because you're both very much into each other. It's just about really asking yourself, like, is the religious part a negotiable or non-negotiable part of your connection? And then I love that you're showing up at the end here because you are showing very confident, very self-made, very um, assertive and strong, very caring, very nurturing, very loving, loving of yourself and loving of others and very financially balanced and stable. Uh, in the getting to know each other cards. I do feel like for some of you, if you are meeting somebody this week, it's not gonna rush into love, all right? For those of you that are in relationships, this is really about still reclaiming your power and your independence, okay? More importantly, above all else, this is about getting to know each other and getting to understand who you both are on different levels and seeing where the connections are and if it's possible to make a long-term relationship out of this union and this love or this interest chemistry that you both have for each other. All right, Virgo, if you want to shop over at Starcy Jewels or if you want to enroll in the Tarot Intensive, take a look at the description box below. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.